What's going on guys, Apple Advanced here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download Providence on our iOS 11, 10, or 9 device. You heard me right, Providence is back, and not only that, it does work on iOS 11. It's really amazing, but you may be thinking, oh, it must require a computer or a jailbreak. No, it just, it's really easy. This will work on our iPhone, iPad, or iPod, and it's really easy. Now, before we actually go to today's tour, guys, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up down below. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, go through right now and make sure you guys turn on my notifications. So let's say this video does not work for you. Well, next time I make another video just like Providence or something like that, you guys can be one of the first people alerted. But anyways, guys, without further ado, this has been Apple Advanced, and let's begin with today's tutorial. So return to the link in the description below, and it should take you right here. Now from here, just go ahead and click apps at the top, and from here, scroll down all the way till you can find Providence. So I'm going to go ahead and search for it right here. Um, it's right here. There we go. Go ahead and tap on it. Tap install. You'll be redirected to a page all about Providence. And from here, scroll down all the way till you can find a Providence again. Pr press install. Then, uh, oh, I was reading something. Press install. And then press install Providence. And then from here, you'll get a prompt on your phone asking, would you like to install Providence? I know there's a lot of installing, guys, but it's really easy. Just press install from here. Now, basically, return back to your home screen, and you should see Providence downloading. For me, it obviously doesn't download right off the bat, but as soon as it pops up on the screen, it just loads up really fast. Now, with this emulator, you can play tons of things. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, I think N64, just tons of emulators. I will leave a whole list of what's in the... Uh, what's inside the app in uh, the comment section. So if you do want to know, it will be there. But basically, you tap on it, and I'll say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. So you're probably wondering to yourself, Apple Advanced, what do I do from here? Well, it's really easy. Go to your settings application, and from your settings application, go ahead and scroll down all the way to find General. And from your General tab, go ahead and find Profile Slice Management. Tap on that, scroll down all the way to find the Enterprise Apps section, and right under that should be the certificate that belongs to Providence, which is this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and press Trust, and press Trust one time. And there you go, you have access to Providence working on our iOS 9, 10, or 11 device without a jailbreak or a PC. But this has been Apple Advanced. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and see you guys. Here we go.